Black lives have never, ever, ever mattered to the Democrat Party. Black votes always have. They have created systems that we cannot get out of. The welfare system was meant to do what it has done to our families. It has decimated our communities. The single motherhood rate in the 1960s was at 23%. Today, the single motherhood rate is 74% in the black community. They incentivize that. They remove the black father from the home because they knew that once you break down the family, you can control. You can control the youth that are growing up. They gave us hip hop. They gave us the media. They didn't give us the facts. They lied to us in school. They told us that the Republican and the Democrat Party switched. That never happened, okay? One person switched parties. Nobody else did. They create this narrative every four years that the Republicans are racist. They try to scare us. Are we such punks? that we are so scared to try something different because every four years they knock for our votes and they say, vote for us because the other guy's racist. Vote for us because the other person is racist. It is time for us to stand up for our community boldly, to look the Democrat Party in the eye and to tell them that you are going to fight for our votes. Listen to this, and this is something that you all need to know. If the Democrats do not get more than 85% of the black vote, their party is finished. Okay? They rely upon us. We have never relied upon them. We have, they have always relied upon us. This is the time for us to stand up in our communities and to fix them, to stand next to one another. Words like Uncle Tom, House Negroes, House Slaves, those were created by leftists to make sure that we are constantly at war with one another. It is time for us to stand up against that and to stand together. This is our time. Make America Great Again is for us too. We are Americans first and foremost. We have been in this country since 1619, before any other immigrant group. When he says he's going to make America great, I don't get scared because I'm about as American as it gets.